So a little bit of a change of scenery. I'm running out of table space due to too many projects. It's been about six or so months now since I've built this. It's been running fine, except one of my used hard drives decided to die. So, um, yeah, I gotta tear this apart and replace it. I have the hard drive controller in the wrong mode for what I guess true NAS people recommend. But with the help from a friend and some uh, Linux commands, I was able to figure out which drive has failed. I'm kind of curious to see how much dust this thing has sucked in in the last six months. Since it has quite a bit of airflow. Quite have enough room. Oops. I know the front's collected some dust on it, so there's definitely some going to be some dust inside. Alright. Not too bad. Take this off the tripod real quick. So that's what the front looks like. There's this air filter here, but I don't think it's really did mu done much. Uh -huh. You can definitely tell there's dust on the fan blades. They've been uh, collecting a bit on uh, this Velcro. We're all pretty clean. And other than the drive failure, it's been running pretty stable. Put that back on there. Spare parts I forgot about. Maybe I must have shifted around when I tilted the case. Let's see. Oh, that's right. Hmm. It's been a while since I built this. Apparently, uh, I don't remember what these spare parts were. Looks like a front drive bay cover and something else. Expansion slot cover and some drive rails and the LED indicator cable for the hard drive or the, the Dell RAID controller that is. Oh, I gotta figure out which disc is disc 7. Unfortunately that's gonna require me to take this apart. I have the serial number written down on my phone which might be a problem considering I'm currently using the phone to record this. Also another problem I'm going to run into. I'm going to have to disconnect this from the hard drive RAID controller that I'm using. Let's see if... How does this unplug? Okay. Hoping I get lucky and I just casually happen to pick the right cluster of drives. That's... Wow. I forgot all the trouble I had to go through to put this together. I'll find the fan wire that I need to disconnect. Oh man. This is one good reason why I should have just used a Dell system. But this was supposed to be my cold storage. I have a Dell server that's uh, supposed to be my full time storage, which has been sitting off ever since I built this. Mm, there's gotta be an easy way to do this. find which one it is. Well, I think I should unplug this as well. Hmm. A lot of room. 
There we go. My goodness, what a mess. Closer. Okay. I now know which fan I need to unplug. Fun part will be putting this back together once I make this cable mess. There we go. I still like this build, but I definitely did not pick a uh, good case for serviceability. Not to say my cable management was the best. One thing I am considering doing now that I know that this motherboard has Intel controllers, I might have to uh, see if I can put a few more drives in there for the fun of it using the onboard SATA. Maybe build another pool. Alright, well, I gotta go look for that serial number real quick. Alright, I got the serial number with me now. Hoping, based on the way the drive numbers are lined up, I'm hoping it's going to be the bottom drive. Oh, I think I'm doing this wrong. There we go. Oh, look at that. Got lucky. First guess. <laughs> this drive is toast. It was just non-stop read and write errors. It's gotten so bad it actually took down my array recently. I was trying to do some stuff and uh, it just kept crashing. Oops, which I don't understand, but... So, I need to uh, wait for the drive I have testing to finish testing. And I'm probably going to blow this out real quick as well. Get it nice and clean again. Alright, well, drive is done testing and... The server has been blown out. Not too terrible. A little dusty. Here we go. Gonna pop this back in its home. Well, the new drive that is. The old drive's gonna get smashed with a sledgehammer. Oh, something's not. Oh, let's try to remember these. You can push them in. So much for being toolless. <laughs> hmm. Hopefully now they have a better idea of what I'm doing here. The plan is going to be running my main storage server. And then this will actually be cold storage, like it was designed to be. That's going to require me to quit being lazy, though. There we go. There we go. Locked it into place. I'm probably going to use the smart CTL command, just check all the drives, including the one I added. I did check another one kind of at random, and it had no smart errors on it, which was nice to see. I don't really like Seagate drives, personally, but uh, when I originally built this, it's just, that's what I had a bunch of matching drives of, and I was under the impression that's what, what you were supposed to do, is to use matching drives. Now with some of the reading I've done, there's been some, I guess, people saying that mixed drives is actually better because if you use all the same drives and those particular drives have the same lifespan and failure modes, then you run the risk of losing your whole array at once. <laughs> so, yeah. Luckily, I'm not backing anything up important necessarily. It's just I would like this to stay stable, not have to uh, service it every six months. 
I should be buying new drives, that means, but um, don't really want to spend the money. Hard drives are just so expensive, even now. It'd almost be cheaper just to build a solid state drive array with what the large capacity drives cost. Cost per terabyte, yeah, it's lower still, but you gotta look at the other fact that reliability and price or uh, speed over the price. I'd be a lot happier with a nice solid state array. Kind of kicking myself. I could have picked up some uh, used Intel data center drives for basically what mechanical drive storage would have cost per gigabyte. I think it's like maybe 15 cents, if even that. But that seller pulled that listing for some reason. I'm guessing they found somebody to buy them all. <laughs> So, oh well, I didn't really want to make that investment anyways, because it was going to be a significant sum of money. It would have been fun, but it doesn't really pay the bills. It's not at all user friendly. There we go. It's easier than having to power each drive individually, but I don't like how these breakout cables work either. And missing my fan power. There you are. Hmm. Yeah, I've created a mess. I'll figure out how this is routed originally. There we go. That was a constrict airflow a little bit. I'm not gonna mess with the fans. Maybe we'll see if I can shove them down a little deeper. Some limitations on how I can place those. Uh, yeah, that should be fine. Another thing I wanted to check. I did that correctly. Can't remember if I taped the pins correctly or not. But you know, just uh, I think it's pins four and five or whatever it was, just on the one side. I have thought about giving this machine more RAM, but I don't believe it's necessary. I'm not running any virtual machines on this. This is strictly uh, storage purposes only. So wouldn't mind finding a new key lock for the front, but I haven't time to worry about that. It's not really so I can lock it, it's just so this doesn't flop around it and breeze. So yeah. Hopefully unlike my other project, this goes smoothly. I power it up, add the new disc to the pool. And I'm back up and running, because I really liked my network drive. It was really sad when I uh, logged in and found out that the RAID was degraded. So, hopefully that was interesting. Thanks for watching.